Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be three dresses that I'm loving this season and ways to wear them. So I thought I would pull together three dresses that I'm really loving in different styles and show you a couple of different ways to wear each dress. So dressing it up, dressing it down, like various different styling options, as well as giving you advice on the locations that I'd be wearing them or like just, you know, little different bits and pieces because I think sometimes with haul videos, it's really easy to see an item and love it but then you don't really know how you'd wear it when it turns up at the front door. So I think sometimes it's quite nice to, to see the items, but then also see them styled. And I really tried my hardest to make these like the best styling that I could think of for these items as well. And I also had like a bit of a brainwave and was realizing more things when I was doing it. But I'm gonna show you the dresses first and just talk you through them and then we'll get on with the styling parts. Obviously, as you can see from the title, these dresses are from Light Before Dark, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. And honestly, nothing they sell I don't like like I genuinely like everything that they have and I really like at the moment that they've got quite like a diverse range of products so I was specifically looking at dresses and I really like that you can kind of get so many different styles of dress so there's literally something for everyone and the dresses that I picked I tried to get dresses that are very true to my style and what I would wear but slightly different so we've got like a short dress a long dress like a risky dress so this is the first one which is honestly my absolute favorite and i cannot wait to start wearing this like i genuinely when this turned up yesterday i just actually audibly gasped like it's so beautiful so it's just this cute little mini dress which has lace detailing on it and this one i got in a size small and it's 62 pounds but it's just this really cute little floaty flirty number that i think is so gorgeous like look at the detailing here you can see there's like the little lace bits around the like triangle top part then you've got the lace and the floaty skirt here and it is double lined as well so you don't need to worry about like seeing anything through but I just thought it was so gorgeous and so timeless because you could literally wear this for so many different occasions and also for so many years and it will still look in fashion if that makes sense like that's kind of one of the things that I like to do with my wardrobe I like to find timeless things that I think are really on trend for the season but also things that are more timeless in a sense of like I know that I'll wear them next year as well so not just jumping on a trend because it's like a right now but jumping on the right kinds of trends that you know will be longer lasting in the future which I did actually talk about on a recent podcast episode as well if you want to check that out I'll just leave it linked down below but um it's honestly beautiful like I've wanted a dress like this for so long and I was looking for like the perfect like neutral creamy colored dress and this one is ever so slightly a blush pink it is technically like it's, it's like a I don't know how to explain it. It looks white from a distance, but it is like a slight, slight, slight blush pink. Um, and I just, honestly, it's gorgeous. Like, I, I don't know what more to say apart from the fact it's gorgeous. Like, I literally love it. And I can't wait to show you how I styled it. I could have done a million outfits, but I chose two that I thought were appropriate for right now. And I thought it kind of tied really well in with like the coastal cowgirl vibe that everyone's going for at the moment. You know, where it's kind of like all the floaty white dresses and stuff with cowboy boots, like just perfection. And then the second dress is this one, which is a little bit different for me, but I do really like it. And I think it's going to be a great one for a lot of things coming up. So this is a small again, and this one is £56. And it's just a gorgeous, long, it's really hard to show you on the camera, but it's got like an asymmetric hem, which I thought was really beautiful. And it's obviously this floral design, a little bit vintage inspired, which I really liked in terms of like the the big bold print like this looks like something my mum would have worn in the 90s which is exactly what we love like I love things like that and I thought the hemline being asymmetric just gave it a little bit of something else that was really beautiful because I think it's so nice to have like maxi dresses and midi dresses but it's always nice when they give a little bit of something else um, and this one I thought would be great for dressing up so like on holidays and stuff but also if you are like me and suddenly everyone around you seems to be getting engaged and stuff then obviously this is a good one as well for wedding dress season because yes it is slightly that like blush peachy color so it is really light but you've got the big florals on so you could absolutely wear this to a wedding and it would look beautiful and then the last one i've got is very risky but i personally think this is gonna be one of the dresses for this year that is really popular because i've been seeing a few different variations of it popping up here there and everywhere and honestly i just think styled in the right way it is just an unreal dress so it's just this one which is completely lace like 100% completely lace. Like there's no coverage here at all. Um, I got this one in a small and this one is 42 pounds and it's just like a, a long maxi dress, like very, very simple design. And it's got the little V-neck front here with the little tie. And I 
genuinely think this is going to be such a big trend like i've seen so many people wearing similar to this recently and i think it's going to be really easy to style because for one you could chuck it over a bikini when you're on holiday and it looks really cute like that or you can style it in different ways so like if you were in summer and you're on holiday you could put like a little bikini underneath like a high-waisted bikini or a swimsuit or something wear it with some nice sandals you could put like a nice little white slip underneath and it will look really cute you can layer it really easily which i'm going to show you in a minute like there's just so many styling options and i've seen so many people make it look so cool and i think in my head i'm envisioning like being in paris or being on holiday and just like feeling really like cool you know like just feeling like it's a really cool outfit and just it, i just think it's amazing i really really liked it so i thought i would um i would get my hands on it and see how i style it but i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna jump in and show you the styling options the dresses and stuff will all be linked down below so don't forget to check them out but here's the outfits dress is my absolute favorite i love the floaty hem i love that it's like all asymmetric as well i love the lace i think it's beautiful it's just so cutesy girly feminine gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous um and i thought i would style it in a really like easy fashion way so popping on some cowboy boots to like ode to the trends of the season i've got a little black bag and it just it feels like the perfect like cool girl outfit for me like this is not something i would usually wear but i feel very cool in it and i feel like I fit in. <laughs> I feel like I could go to LA and just wear this and like I'd look so chic. This dress is so versatile in the sense that like for one it's just like a really beautiful floaty like asymmetric hem vibe so like it goes up a little bit at the sides. Little floaty like flirty number. Um, but I think it would be so cute not only just with, like this kind of outfit where it's a bit more like cool you've got the cowboy boots you've got like the coastal cowboy vibes going on but equally you could wear this with like docks and a big leather jacket like you could just style it so many ways and I think that's why I'm so in love with it I did think it would be a bit longer on me and I'm really glad that it's not because I think it's like the perfect cutesy little short length and it's just stunning like it's such a gorgeous style like i don't want to take this off i want to find every excuse to wear it <laughs> and then the second outfit is more of like an evening vibe for this one so i've just popped on the white blazer little white bag little white heels and just kept it very tonal because i think it is a gorgeous dress that like i said can be worn a million different ways and i wanted to show you a really easy way that you could just dress it up and make it look a little bit more fancy um this is a really good option if you're going for dinner anywhere in the summer like a bit more fancy as well it works really nicely um but equally if you're going to like a bottomless brunch or something which i have coming up i think this could be a good option option for something like that too because it is just a little bit more kind of comfortable and you could always change the heels to something a little bit more comfortable too but I just do really love the floaty style of this dress I think it's just really nice and feminine and cutesy and just exactly the dress that I needed in my wardrobe because I've been wanting a little white dress for ages and this just fit the bill 100% Okay, this is giving like wedding guest, but also could be cute on a summer evening on holiday when you're like a little bit tanned, balmy evening, going for dinner, like going for a couple of drinks and stuff and the sun setting, like that's exactly the vibe I could pitch for this dress. And I really like the style of it. So you've obviously got like the cow neck detailing at the top here. And then it's like a nice, like slightly fitted, but not too fitted. And then it just goes off into the point on one side. So you've got like the longer side and then obviously the like short side on this bit. But I think it's really cute. It's very like 90s-esque with the print and stuff. Definitely could get away with this for a wedding guest because it's not white. It's actually like a peachy colour. And obviously you've got the big florals on there and stuff. It's just, it's honestly stunning. Like I think this on the summer holidays will be beautiful. Genuinely think this is going to be packed on my next trip. Not that I've planned one, but this will be packed immediately because it's so gorgeous. And it's just like really simple on the back and stuff as well. But I like it just with like a slouched blazer. I've put the blazer on more to give it as like a slightly formal vibe, but you could obviously take it off. And I didn't want to just show you like the dress with various heels. So yeah, thought I'd show it like this. And I just, I really, really like it. It's not a very me dress in terms of like the bright florals and stuff, but I absolutely love it. And it's a style that I'm really starting to get invested in, especially now I've got like way more friends getting married and I know I need to go to more weddings. <laughs> And for the second outfit in this dress, I couldn't resist going for another wedding guest style because I think it is just a really good wedding guest outfit. And also for summer, it's good for like every occasion that you could potentially have, like baby showers or engagement parties and stuff. You know, just like all those typical summer events that you have or like, you know, like garden parties and stuff if you go to anything like that. It's just a really, really good option. And I think a lot of the dresses in the Light Before Dark collection are actually stunning at the moment. They've got quite a wide variety, um, but this one's just beautiful. I really, really like it. Teamed it with some little nude heels and a little nude bag as well god this carpet's really hard to stand on in heels but um i've just teamed it with some nude bits because i thought it just looked really stunning and i just think it's a gorgeous gorgeous dress that talks for itself
Outfit number one with the lace dress, what do we think? I am honestly obsessed. I feel like this is fulfilling all of my soft grunge, punk, Avril Lavigne vibe fantasies and I'm so here for it. So I've obviously got the lace dress on underneath which is a really nice length on me, I'm five foot four and I really like how it hangs as well. So it like hangs really nicely off my hips and it's like looser around the legs. Um, really nice soft lace as well which is beautiful. Long oversized t-shirt over the top, little black bags and some boots just to finish it off but can we just take a minute like I'm honestly I think I'm obsessed like I think this is such a sick outfit I'm actually excited for summer to come around so I can wear this like I've got a bottomless brunch on the weekend and I'm low-key thinking that this could be the outfit that I wear for it because it looks so cool it's like soft grunge cool girl style is what I'm calling this and I love it like it's such a cool way to wear it that's a bit different to what you would typically think um and it just looks it looks cool. Oh my goodness, I think I'm in love. And this is the kind of vibe I think. Like instantly when I put this on, I thought I need to be in Paris going to a fancy dinner. Like this is just stunning. So we've obviously got the lace dress on underneath again. I have to admit, I would probably go for like a little white slip underneath it or some like high-waisted white knickers and like a little white bra. Although I don't own either of those currently, so I need to invest in them. But when I do, I think that would be a really good way to put something underneath. And then you could obviously leave the blazer open and just have like a little slip under. I don't have that at the moment, so I'm giving you some closed options. Although, like I said, you could do that instead too. Um, or equally, I thought it could be quite nice to layer like a little mini dress over the top, maybe? Don't know. See if it worked. Um, but this is a really cute option. And also a good one if you're a bride and you're getting married and you wanted something for your hem party. Really cute option for that too, because you could just go out for dinner like this with your girls. Um, really, really stunning. So we've just got some little simple white heels on here and then obviously the white blazer as well. And it just looks really nice and classic and simple. Like I genuinely am obsessed with this. Like this dress, I thought this would be the hardest one for me to style in this video. And I actually think arguably it's been probably the easiest for me to style, which is really bizarre. Like I found all of them super easy to style, but this one I actually thought of outfits like immediately and I just knew how I wanted to style it and wear it. That's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the dresses and a few ways to style them. I honestly think these dresses are gonna be such big trends at the moment. You've got the flirty short dress that's very like coastal cowgirl vibes. You've got the floral dress which gives a bit more vintage vibes but really good for like the dressing up and like the evenings and things. And then you've got the lace one which is just chic like there is just something about it that is just perfect and i've seen so many like this on pinterest and everywhere else and i know it's going to be a big trend so hopefully you like this video don't forget to check out the links down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hit the subscribe button for more from me and there's also a notification bell too if you want to get a notification when i upload but that's it for today's video guys and i'll see you in my next one bye